Hello everyone, my name is Thiago and today we will continue working in the CSS of the autocomplete. So yeah, I did the styling offline because because if not, maybe I, maybe I would have to create two or three videos. So I decided to make the style in the offline. And right now I will be explaining to what did they do. So, okay. The first thing that I did, I added a border a box shadow. So we have box shadow right here, right here in the wrapper of the input, how you can see. And what is this box shadow? It's this values, okay, box shadow with this color and this opacity. So I added in this class and in this class. Okay, we have the eight pixels in the wrapper, how you can see right here, and four pixels in the input wrapper, okay. In the option, we have now uh, an option class that and style to the option. And basically, it's the hover and a padding. So where is that style? We have the option. And let's move this option right here to be near the option hover. Okay. In the option hover, we change the cursor in the background color. And this arrow icon, where are, where is this arrow icon coming from? It's coming from this lib, React icons. And this is, if I'm not wrong, an int icon, okay? So I'm importing I install this lib and I import in this this icon and I am using this icon right here. So I created a put wrapper that is the wrapper of the input and that icon. I am putting these two things together to align and to be together, of course. And basically we have the class name. In here we have the arrow, the arrow class that basically adds a transition. Okay, yeah, down arrow class that adds a transform to rotate. So basically, when it's open, we add that class, and when it's not, we remove the class. It makes that the arrow will be going up and going down. Okay. And let me see what more. I didn't change the filter. And yeah, I think that in, we are done for the autocomplete style. Let's check the index CSS to see if in there, there is something missing in the explanation. Uh, the autocomplete input. I also removed the outline and the border because I don't want that. I just want this box shadow to make the border. It's more beautiful. And we have the autocomplete options with top of 36px. Let's remove this. Okay. So if I'm not wrong, let me see. If I'm not wrong, let me see dot option. Yes, we have the page right here, so you can remove this. These are was some tests I was doing. Okay. Our linear and that's it. It's a very basic CSS, but I think that this not complete. It's looking, it's looking good. It's a, it's a good UI. So, the next video will continue, but, but right there we will be 
using we will be modifying the javascript the javascript of the of the autocomplete because i think that this is this isn't good enough to be a to be a, an autocomplete very reusable that you can use in real cases so in the next video we'll continue working in the javascript part of the autocomplete